I made this video a couple months ago. As you can see, pretty much I strengthened Germany to the max. And then I click on Elite Difficulty. And, you know, it got a lot of views for this channel. This channel only has 47 subscribers. I had like 7 before this video. And people might be interested in, you know, how do you do this? Because people seem to be impressed by this. Honestly, it's not that difficult to do. I did this in the previous update. It's actually a little more difficult in the previous update. I'm going to do this in the new update, No Step Back, uh, where you can make more overpowered planes. And you can, well, the German AI is going to have to deal with a lot worse resistance. So it's going to make it easier for us. All right, so let's get this started. I did one test run in the new update. Let's delete this. And let's start from scratch. Elite difficulty, max buff Germany, Soviet Union, and start. We could do Iron Man, but we're using a custom difficulty, so it doesn't apply. So you're going to do your standard Soviet Union start. With your focus, standard focus, no intelligence agency for now. Research, we're going to have research speed, construction, and we're going to have survivability. In terms of factories, we're going to build some infrastructure. Moscow, Leningrad, uh, Kiev, Kharkov, and Stalingrad. Then we're going to take all our factories and convert them in those states and build civilian factories there. And we're going to be producing the infrastructure there first because we are on civilian economy. It makes building civilian factories a lot slower. We're going to be converting and building a lot of civilian factories in these states, so it pays itself off. Now, this entire video, this entire guide, it's not an ideal strategy or anything. I never look up any metas or anything like that, so, you know, this is just me with 2.5k hours in the game uh, playing. You're going to build convoys, and you're going to... I just like to let all these ships deploy. Let me merge up the navy. We don't need these bombers. Let's bring these fighters up here. Keep these tanks at the bottom. One factory on trains. And I'm going to get some anti-air as well. And let's put this last factory on some transport planes. Those are going to be useful. Take your army, put them all into one general, split off the NKVDs, split off the tanks. We're going to be keeping around six tanks to send to Spain. These six tanks, we're going to train them up. These divisions, we're going to change them all into cavalry and we're going to put the NKVD with them and then we're going to just put them somewhere where they will actually have supply and not attrition to death. Trade, we're not going to trade for the rubber now only once we get the new planes we're going to bother trying to actually produce them. We're going to do the center. You're going to save up your political power. Get the five war support from this focus. Do the song constitution. Also take all your planes. I forgot to do this at first. and exercise them in Moscow. Also take three of your attacks and delete them and take two of your fighters and delete them. We're going to go for the next electronics and we're going to go with production. This focus next. When you get events like this you can actually wait on them because it will remove 50 paranoia. We have only 44. If we just wait on it to time out then we'll get a couple extra paranoia removed. We're going to go with this focus next. When the Spanish Civil War starts, pause. Send volunteers. Send your six divisions. Send air volunteers. And improve relations with them. Take your planes. We're going to send fighters and tactical bombers. Wait until you get to at least 20. Send an attache. Stop improving relations. Once your divisions are sent to Spain, you have two options. 
you can either try to go for this tile or try to go for Zargoza. Zargoza looks packed. Let's just try to cut them off here real quick. And you're going to watch out for any tiles that have the unplanned offensive removed. Also, go to Spain. Start lend -lease. Send them 10k guns. I'm going to finish off this tile right here, and then I'm going to go down here. Once you finish this focus, go and do this focus, and also go and get yourself War Economy. Now, once you get 40 command power, you can go and promote Rokosovsky because Tukhachevsky is going to die, so get Zhukov as well. We're going to railroad these guys down here because it has the modifier removed. Next research, we're going to research Heavy Machine Guns or Engines 3. Go down to this focus. When you get your air XP, you can do industry liaisons. And we're also going to go for centralized control. It doesn't really matter if you lose the Spanish Civil War. We're here for the XP. Once you get 120, you can go to free trade. Now you can go with this focus. Once you get 20 army XP, go here and get bold attack. We're going to go with this focus next. And we're going to get an intelligence agency. And again, we're going to wait for this paranoia to tick up, and we're going to let this time out. Since you've been converting so many factories, you're going to have to pull some factories off of your other production lines. I'm going to delete these tanks. Once you get your operative, hire the German guy. You're going to put him in Mexico. And I'm going to research construction too. Next focus we're going to do is up here. Continue building in the 100 infrastructure. Once you get your 150 political power, you can hire the captain of industry. And we're going to go with this next. When you get events like this, as long as you have the paranoia, you can click the top option. The construction one, you might want to click the bottom option, just so you can get a little bit of extra construction speed. Next focus we're going to do is the industry focus. You're going to go in your decisions and click at this. If you have to kill off a good advisor like this, then choose the middle option. When you have too many civilian factories, I like to build extra infrastructure, Kursk, Stalino, build some civilian factories there. Next focus is going to be the military conspiracy. You can actually decline the German treaty. When you get your industry tech, you can build more in the 100 infrastructure provinces. Next focus is this one. Once you finish this focus, we're going to go up here get the Mexican, put him in Mexico, save your political power for this part, we're going to go down foreign experts. Once you run out of good slots like this, you can look for these 80 infrastructure provinces that was given to you by a focus. Besides those, we're going to start building military factories. While you're doing foreign experts, go to the US and improve relations. In Mexico, you can rescue the operative. And you can also prepare a subtle assassination. Once you finish this focus, you're going to go down here and do this focus. You're going to go and hire this company right here. Unpause it for a day. Bring American experts. You could also improve relations with the British or the Germans. Uh, I like the Americans. Now you can stop improving relations with the Americans. We're going to research heavy MGs. And when you get your construction tech, you can go over and continue building civilian factories. You can also click this focus again. Somehow my captain of industry is going to die. That's sad. When that decision with the Americans finishes, you're going to get this. And you want to click this for the minus 5 consumer goods. Once you finish this focus, we're going to go with this one. Those focuses also give infrastructure, so you can look out for any 80 infrastructure provinces. I have none. Next we're going to get the research slot. I'm going to get this ground support guy. In Mexico, if your spies didn't get captured, then you can try to do this focus or this mission to try to kill Trotsky a little faster. I'm not going to do it because he's going to be killed in December 19th anyway. When you finish this focus, I'm actually going to go all the way over here to the common turn. For your production, you can put five on transport planes, you can put 
five on trucks. Gonna put a bunch on everything else as well. And we're gonna go down battlefield support. We're gonna go down here. My next research is gonna be improve small airframe. We're gonna go with the Gobi Gambit. Now, if you want to save and reload your game, you can, or you can just wing it, and you might uh, get it or not get it. Pretty much, Sinkang might give you minus consumer goods, and they might not. Along with this, we're also going to try to get the next cannons, cannons too, or actually range improvements I'm going to go for. With your next 150 political power, we're going to get the light aircraft designer. Trotsky's dead. Now we get more political power. We can now do this focus for Stalin. Or preferably this focus first. Next, your spies are going to go in Germany. And you can start researching localized training centers. Sink Gang agrees. You see we get minus one consumer goods. Now we can also do these decisions right here for extra minus consumer goods. I'm going to wait for this, actually. I'm going to take 6 NKVDs, put them in Moscow, swap them to this division, edit the division, we give it an anti-air, or an artillery, I think, first. And train them up. We have engine 3s now. Next, we're going to go for cannon 2s. Next, we're going to do this focus. And we're going to click this decision. We're going to click one of these as well. St. Kang agrees. I'm getting lucky. We're going to form a department. When you finish this focus, we're going to do the military focuses. Next, we're going to research the industry tech. And we're going to do this. It gives you weekly war support. It's the only one that they didn't remove in the game as far as I know. You're also going to hire an operative from Germany. Next, we want Army and Air Force. And we're going to decrypt Germany. We're going to get this for the Army XP. I'm going to go with this focus for the organization. This province is going to be lost, so I'm not going to bother. Then I'm going to prepare collaboration. I'm going to edit this. Give them anti-air. I think 22 width is what we're going to go with. I'm going to swap all these guys to that division. Train them up. Send these guys off. Now if you hover over this, we can see how much we need. 500 days, 600 days, 350 days. So you need the most artillery. We need a little less anti-air. Next focus. We're going to improve worker conditions. We're going to get this. We're going to sign the treaty. We're going to max out passive defense. Military reorganization. We're going to do this propaganda. And we're also going to click this focus. Sink Gang agrees again. I'm getting lucky. We want 240 divisions, so I'm going to deploy 100. I'm going to do more collaboration. And more passive defense. I'm going to go with this focus. More industry tech. And we have our new airplane. So. I'm going to be designing a plane. Single engine. You don't ever want to use dual engine. They're inefficient. I'm going to go with self-sealing fuel tanks because air defense is very powerful. And I want a little bit of extra range, so drop tanks. Next, we just want the best guns we can put on there. So for now, we could go with this. The heavy machine guns, the 4x heavy machine guns are the most efficient. But since we can fit more on there, I'm going to go with some cannons. Cannon 1 is worse than heavy machine guns times 4. But you can go here and get a defense turret. I think this would be worth it. You can change the model into something better. Now I'll actually trade for the rubber. You want to research radios as well. Next we're going to go down here and we'll take this decision. 
I'm actually going to build more civilian factories. We're going to get logistics companies. We're also going to put on engineers. You can do claims in the Baltic. Our garrisons are quite low, so I'm going to have to delete some divisions. I made a slight mistake, so I'm going to change it down to local police force. You want to save political power around this time. We're going to do secure Leningrad. We're going to send an ultimatum to Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia. We're doing this so late because we're hoping that they build up a bunch of guns by the time we annex them. Reorganize, assign your generals, give them motorization priority. Put some guys in Finland. We're going to get this, experts in camouflage. We're going to build a bunch more military factories. Finland accepts the demands. That's not ideal, but whatever. You see, after all this, we're only missing 29k guns. Next, save up your political power so you can go up in conscription. Next focus we're going to do is the third five-year plan. Get the next logistic companies. We're going to be putting logistic companies onto these. Make sure to balance your production. This is going to take 83 days. This is going to take 270 days. This is going to take 97 days. I need more on support equipment. Next we're going to build a bunch of forts along this river. If we look here, there's a supply hub here, so we're going to try to hold that. I'm going to hold three provinces here. Same deal in Kiev. I'm actually going to level these up to level five. There's a supply hub here. I'm just going to be putting these both to level five. We're going to go down the left side. Start deploying planes if you have them. We finished all the collaboration on Germany. I'm just going to keep it at a quiet intel network. Get your divisions here. Put them in their own field marshal. I like to actually promote Chuikov. And you can drop them right over here. And now what you want to do, assign all of them, train them up, select these guys to all drop here. And you can go here, look at how many divisions you have, 162, we need 240. So 80 minus 2, we need 78 more. When you get 120 political power, I'm going to go to limited exports. And we can cancel a lot of our trade. We're going to do this again for some more war support. These guys don't really have supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build like a level 3 port maybe. Connect it up with rails. It actually should be connected up already. Next, we're going to go over here. Look at your forts. This one's only level 1. These guys, of course, are going to continue. They're guarding a lot less. I'm going to shorten this line. Lengthen this line. More radars. After you finish building that, you want to build some radars. Over here. Over here. I can build one up here. If you're getting close to the date, deploy your guys early. Make sure everyone's at least not green. Next, build yourself some air bases and build yourself a crazy amount of anti air. Look in the air regions. So I need more anti air over. Don't build it in provinces that they're going to control. Get a concealment expert. Now, in your production, you might have a decent surplus. So you can remove a bunch of factories from it. And you're going to put it all on planes. Now you're going to have to trade away like your entire industry. I'm going to do oil production. Continue building the radars you already built to level them up. I'm going to go with this to get the resource gain efficiency. Sign the non-aggression pact with Japan. And you can start going down the air focus tree. I'm going to improve worker conditions again. We want excavation. I also got the new cannons, so I'm going to go to my plane. Swap out the old cannons for the new cannons. We're going to get a bunch of agility for minus two attack. It's decent 
but ideally we would want uh, even more weight to be able to put a third one on. But this is what we're going to go with. So here's the war. I think we're looking pretty decent for it. Except in terms of fighters. Looks like a pretty horrible situation for our Air Force. You can get a popular figurehead. Now Jeremy's going to start attacking. Just shuffle divisions into where they're attacking so they can't break through. You can also take the army, delete the fallback line, and give them a proper front line. Now you can see they have 1,500 planes here. So I'm going to try to beat up their planes. Let's see if our Air Force is any good. North seems to be doing well, so I'm going to put some guys in the south. Let's upgrade some rails over here, see how our planes are doing. We're taking better losses than them by a lot. As you get excavation, you can start to remove some factories from this. You should be winning the air war pretty handily because the fighters are extremely overpowered. And you should actually even be increasing in quantity for fighters. Now, I'm not sure if the air supply is broken or what, but it's it's not the greatest in this update now Germany at this point should be taking crazy amounts of losses and should have pretty horrible war support and stability Once you finish all these military focuses, continue down your air focuses. Now since we're pretty handily beating their air force, I'm going to go and design a new plane. Bunch of small bomb bays. We have to go with the engine 3. And I guess I'm going to put on the drop tanks and remove this then. Now that we're doing this, I'm going to put some close air support in. It's impossible even for elite Germany to produce 40 planes a day, so they're losing planes. We can get an army regrouping expert. We can also go with a military theorist. Air supply is pretty worthless in this update. Used to be so good. We can go with war bonds as well. I'm going to build additional civilian factories. It seems like something we're lacking. As you gain more and more planes, you can start putting them in other areas. And now, since it looks like Germany's Air Force is almost dead, I'm going to swap it all onto the cast instead of the fighters. I'm finally going to get some actual buffs for my infantry. I'm starting to get a proper amount of cast, so let's try to break through. 
still can't. I'm going to swap to total mobilization. Keep researching anti-tank. Right now I'm just waiting for artillery upgrades and close air support upgrades. I'm actually going to research this right here, Engineer Company 2. And I'm going to change this template. We don't really need anti-air anymore. I'm going to go with artillery, see if we have enough 7k available. That's fine. Let's just go up on production for it. Let's do lessons of war, get down here, and then get this research slot. I'm logistic striking them now, so we'll see if we can break through with that. In this update, they don't seem to want to attack as often, so the logistic strike is very useful to wear them down. We got anti-tank cannon too. That's what we were looking for. Next we'll get the next plane. We're going to edit this plane. It's going to give us a lot of ground attack. I'm going to put on some of this to keep them alive. I'm going to research some rocket artillery, give us some extra soft attack. We got engineer company too. With that, I'm actually going to go to production, find interwar medium tank. We're going to give it a flamethrower, light turret, one man turret, flame support company. And you can also just throw in a bunch of extra ammunition storage. Doesn't make much of a difference though. But it's free. This is our tank. Take this interwar medium flame tank and produce a bunch of them. Make sure to upgrade all your rails. Hire an army offense specialist. Try to get an infantry specialist as well. Once you get enough interwar medium flame tanks, you can add them to your divisions. I'm also going to research down to here, railway gun.
All right, so after playing that in the new update, uh, I have to give some tips. The beginning was fine, normal, how I did it. I would play the ending slightly differently. Uh, what I found is that the AI is obviously a little smarter in this update, and I haven't done this. So, you know, despite them having 30 divisions of province or more, they decided not to just constantly attack my wall and lose all their equipment. They realized that it was actually useless. So that meant that I was pushing into a much tougher enemy. Now a couple options you have is that means that you have to get out some tanks. You have to do what I did which was buff up your artillery, your infantry, and your close air support and then also you can go down here and get some of these right over here now a huge tip that I have that work seems to work very well is logistic strikes now an issue with logistic strikes is that using these small airframes I noticed that they were disintegrated upon attacking Germany so what you have to do is you have to make some type of medium airframe with a crazy amount of defense so they don't just get disintegrated. Right here we have this 40 air defense plus some, a little bit of cannons just for a, a little bit of attack. Then max out here the logistic strikes which is right here. So for logistic strikes we have 25 ground attack and I'll show you what I used I used the improved medium bomber I put medium bomb bay two small bomb bays and bomb locks on here plus two times engine fours uh, you want to go with as small engines as possible or as little engines as possible so if you check four engines are far more expensive I mean f four engine ones are like 30 more production cost about 25 more production cost than two engine fours it's pretty crazy and they give you less thrust so they're almost completely useless unless you just need that thrust in the early game so I went with two engines and I got these ones right here which gave me just enough thrust. You could also go with engine threes and you could remove some modules like perhaps one bit of armor plates. And you have to go down on this it looks like. Or maybe remove this and just keep the armor plates. This is probably what I would go with to get this a little bit earlier because engine fours are quite late in the game. Besides that, um, I would recommend building synthetic refineries after the war. So after you build all your forts, your anti-air, and you beat them in the air, then switch to civilian factories and build a bunch of synthetic refineries. Was this more difficult or easier this update? This is my first time doing it. Slightly more difficult. The air war was a lot easier because I mean my fighters just completely melted theirs. Um, but they didn't mindlessly attack my lines so they didn't waste all their equipment. I thought they would be short on equipment because they would mindlessly attack my lines. They would be attritioning to death and 